In this lesson, we are going to learn about Azure Event Grid. In an event-driven architecture, events are delivered in nearly real time, so that consumers can respond immediately to events as they occur. An event-driven architecture can use a pub-sub model or an event stream model. On the consumer side, there are some common variations: single event processing which means an event immediately triggers an action in the consumer. For example, you could use Microsoft Azure functions with a service bus trigger so that a function executes whenever a message is published to a service bus topic. Other variation is complex event processing. In this scenario, a consumer processes a series of events observing pattern in the event data by using a technology such as Azure Stream Analytics or Apache Storm. The third variation is Event Stream Processing. In this scenario, you can use a data streaming platform such as an Azure IoT Hub or Apache Kafka as a pipeline to ingest events and feed them to stream processes. The stream processes act to process or transform the stream. In this logical diagram, each type of consumer is shown as a single box. In practice, it's common to have multiple instances of a consumer. To avoid having the consumer become a single point of failure in system, multiple instances might also be necessary to handle the volume and frequency of events. Also, a single consumer might process events on multiple threads. This can create challenges if events must be processed in order or require exactly one semantics. So what is Azure Event Grid? Azure Event Grid allows you to easily build application with event-based architectures. First, select the Azure resource that you would like to subscribe to and then provide the event handler or webhook endpoint to send the event to. Event Grid has built-in support for events coming from Azure services like storage blobs and resource groups. Event Grid also has support for your own events using custom topics. You can use filters to route specific events to different endpoints, multicast to multiple endpoints, and make sure your events are reliably delivered. These are the Azure services which can send events to event grid let's look into the sources and handlers first let's understand sources an event source is where the event happens several azure services are automatically configured to send events you can also create custom application that sends events custom applications don't need to be hosted in azure to use event grid for event distribution now let's learn about event handlers. An event handler is the place where the event is sent. The handler takes some further action to process the event. Several Azure services are automatically configured to handle events. You can also use any webhook for handling events. The webhook doesn't need to be hosted in Azure to handle events. Event Grid only supports HTTPS webhook endpoints. Let us learn about some Event Grid concepts. The first concept is events. An event is the smallest amount of information that fully describes something that happened in the system. Every event has common information, such as a source of the event, time of the event took place, and a unique identifier. Each event is limited to 64 kilobytes of data. The next concept is event sources. An event source is where the event happens. Each event source is related to one or more event types. Next one is topics. The event grid topic provides an endpoint where the source sent events. The publisher creates the event grid topic and decides whether an event source need one topic or more than one topic. Another concept is event subscriptions. A subscription tells event grid 
which event on topic you are interested in receiving. When creating the subscription, you provide an endpoint for handling the event. The next topic is event handlers. From an event grid perspective, an event handler is the place where the event is sent. The handler takes some further action to process the event. Event grid supports several handler types. You can use a supported Azure service or your own webhook as the handler. An event source is where the event happens. So several Azure services are automatically configured to send events. And the event grid topic provides an endpoint where the source sends events. An event handler is the place where the event is sent at the end. The handler takes some further action to process the event. So let's look at a schema. Events consist of set of five required string properties and a required data object. The properties are common to all events from any publisher. This code example shows the specific implementation of an event related to Azure Blob Storage. All events have the same top level data. For custom topics, the event publisher determines the data object. The top level data should have the same fields as standard resource defined events. So now let's look into the security part of Event Hub. There are three types of authentication you can use. The first one is webhook event delivery. Webhooks are one of the many ways to receive events from Azure Event Grid. When a new event is ready, Event Grid service post an HTTP request to the configured endpoint with the event in the request body. The next is event subscriptions. To subscribe to an event, you must prove that you have access to the event source and handler. And the third type is custom topic publishing. Custom topics use either shared access signature or key authentication. Microsoft recommends shared access signature. So let's look into filtering on Event Hub. By default, all event types for the event source are sent to the endpoint. You can decide to send only certain event types to your endpoint. For example, you can get notified of updates to your resources but not notified for other operations like deletions. In that case, filter by the Microsoft resource resource write success event type and provide an array with the event type or specify all to get all event types for the event source. And finally, let's learn about event domains. An event domain is a management tool for large number of event grid topics that are related to the same application. You can think of it as the meta topic that can have thousands of individual topics. Event domain allows you to model Contoso construction machinery as a, single as a single event entity. Each of your customers is represented as a topic within the domain. Authorization and authentication are handled by using Azure Active Directory. And each of your customers can subscribe to their topic and get their event delivered to them. Managed access through the event domain ensures that they can only access their topic. That concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about event hubs. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.